Joe Lara was an American actor and singer best known for his portrayal of Tarzan in the 1989 television series Tarzan in Manhattan and the 1994 film Tarzan. Tragically, Lara's life was cut short in 2021. Joe Lara, Death by Jet Plane On May 29, 2021, the small jet he was piloting crashed into Percy Priest Lake near Smyrna, Tennessee, shortly after takeoff. His wife, Gwen Shamblin Lara, and five others who were on board, all perished in this tragic plane crash. Jenny Rivera was a renowned Mexican-American singer, songwriter, actress, television producer, and entrepreneur. Born in Long Beach, California in 1969, she released numerous hit albums before her untimely demise. Jenny Rivera, Death by Tour Schedule Rivera perished in an aircraft accident in the early hours of December 9, 2012, when the Learjet carrying her and six other individuals crashed near Monterey, Mexico. She had been in the city for a performance at the Monterey Arena the night before. She was 43 years old. Stevie Ray Vaughan was best known as the guitarist and frontman of the blues rock trio Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble. He is regarded as one of the most influential musicians in the history of blues music and one of the greatest guitarists of all time. Stevie Ray Vaughan, Death by Helicopter. The legendary blues guitarist tragically died on August 27, 1990. He and four others on board perished in a helicopter crash near East Troy, Wisconsin, following a performance at the Alpine Valley Music Theater. The crash was attributed to pilot error amid adverse weather conditions. Vaughn was just 35 years old at the time of his untimely demise. Jim Croce was one of the most talented singer-songwriters of his era, but his life was tragically cut short. Known for his distinctive baritone voice and storytelling style, Croce crafted timeless hits like Time in a Bottle and Bad, Bad Leroy Brown. Jim Croce, Death by Pilot Error Jim Croce died on September 20, 1973, when his chartered plane collided with a tree shortly after departure from an airport in Natchitoches, Louisiana. The crash also claimed the lives of Croce's guitarist, Maury Moorlison, and five other individuals. He was only 30 years old at the time of his untimely departure. Patsy Cline was a true icon of country music. Some of Cline's most iconic songs include Crazy, I Fall to Pieces, and Walking After Midnight. She is considered one of the most influential and acclaimed vocalists in country music history. Tragically, her life would be cut short. Patsy Cline, Death by Small Plane On March 5, 1963, at the age of 30, Cline was traveling from Kansas City, Missouri to Nashville, Tennessee, along with her manager Randy Hughes and fellow musicians Hawkshaw Hawkins and Cowboy Copas. The small plane encountered severe weather and crashed into a hillside near Camden, Tennessee. All on board perished in the crash. Rocky Marciano was an American professional boxer who began his professional boxing career in 1947 and quickly rose through the ranks, winning the heavyweight title in 1952. He is the only heavyweight champion to have retired undefeated. Rocky Marciano, Death by Pilot Error Marciano died in a plane crash on August 31, 1969. The crash involved a Cessna 172 aircraft, which went down in Newton, Iowa, due to adverse weather conditions and pilot inexperience with night flying. Marciano was en route to celebrate his 46th birthday the following day when tragedy struck. Aliyah was an American singer, actress, and model who rose to fame in the 1990s. She began her musical career at a young age performing in local talent shows and church choirs, becoming a superstar by the age of 22. She has been credited with helping to redefine contemporary R&B, pop, and hip-hop, earning her the nickname the Princess of R&B. Aaliyah, Death by Overload 
On August 25, 2001, Aliyah, age 22, perished in an airplane crash in the Bahamas, along with eight others. The aircraft was heavily overloaded and plummeted to the ground shortly after takeoff. Troy Gentry was an American country music singer and one half of the popular country duo Montgomery Gentry. Some of Montgomery Gentry's biggest hits included My Town, Something to be Proud of, and Gone. The duo was inducted into the Grand Ole Opry in 2009 and won numerous awards, including the CMA Vocal Duo of the Year in 2000. Troy Gentry, Death by Helicopter. Gentry tragically passed away in a helicopter crash on September 8, 2017. The accident occurred in Medford, New Jersey. The National Transportation Safety Board determined that pilot error led to the crash. Otis Redding was an American singer, songwriter, and record producer who is considered one of the greatest singers in the history of soul and R&B music. Redding was at the peak of his career, having recently released the hit song, Sittin' on the Dock of the Bay, before he had his promising career cut short. Otis Redding, Death by Lake. Otis Redding, the iconic soul singer, met a tragic end in a plane crash on December 10, 1967. The aircraft plummeted into Lake Monona, close to Madison, Wisconsin, taking the lives of Redding and several band members. He was only 26 years old. Ricky Nelson first rose to fame in the 1950s and 1960s as a child star, appearing alongside his family in the popular television sitcom The Adventures of Ozzie and Harriet. He later transitioned into a successful music career, becoming one of the first teen idols and a pioneer of rock and roll. Some of Nelson's most well-known hits include Hello Mary Lou, Travelin' Man, and Garden Party. Ricky Nelson, Death by Faulty Heater. Ricky Nelson, the American pop singer, died in a plane crash on December 31, 1985. The crash occurred near DeKalb, Texas, when a fire, suspected to have been caused by a faulty in-cabin heater, broke out mid-flight, filling the cabin with toxic fumes. Nelson, along with six others, including his fiancée and several band members, perished in the accident. The two pilots survived. John Denver was a beloved singer-songwriter known for his iconic folk pop hits. Some of his most well-known songs include Take Me to Tomorrow, Rocky Mountain High, and Country Roads, which have become timeless classics, resonating with listeners across the globe. John Denver, Death by Home-Built Aircraft. Denver died on the afternoon of October 12, 1997, when his light home-built aircraft that he had recently purchased, a Rutan Long EZ, crashed into Monterey Bay near Pacific Grove, California, while making a series of touch-and-go landings at the nearby Monterey Peninsula Airport. The official cause of death was multiple blunt force trauma resulting from the crash. Glenn Miller was an American big band musician, arranger, composer, and band leader. He was the best-selling recording artist from 1939 to 1942, leading one of the best-known dance bands of the swing era. Some of his most popular recordings include In the Mood, Chattanooga Choo Choo, A String of Pearls, and Moonlight Serenade. Glenn Miller, Death by Mystery. On December 15, 1944, the legendary band leader Glenn Miller boarded a plane headed from the UK to Paris, France. Little did he know that this would be his final journey. The plane carrying Miller vanished without a trace, leaving behind a mystery that has puzzled historians and music fans for decades. Amelia Earhart was a true trailblazer. She paved the way for women in aviation and inspired generations to pursue their dreams, no matter how impossible they may seem. Earhart was the first female aviator to fly solo across the Atlantic Ocean, accomplishing this feat in 1932. Amelia Earhart, Death by Plane Crash Amelia Earhart, the pioneering aviator, captivated the world with her record-breaking flights and her mysterious disappearance.
On July 2, 1937, Earhart and her navigator Fred Noonan vanished while attempting to cross the Pacific Ocean on their way to Howland Island. The fate of their plane and the two pilots has remained one of aviation's greatest unsolved mysteries. Kobe Bryant was an American professional basketball player who spent his entire 20-year career with the Los Angeles Lakers in the National Basketball Association. He was widely regarded as one of the greatest players of all time. Kobe Bryant, death by helicopter. On January 26, 2020, the NBA legend, along with his 13-year-old daughter Gianna and seven others, perished in the accident near Calabasas, California. The helicopter was en route to Kobe's Mamba Sports Academy in Thousand Oaks, where Gianna was scheduled to play in a basketball tournament. Tragically, the helicopter encountered heavy fog and crashed into a hillside, leaving no survivors. Roy Halladay was a legendary Major League Baseball pitcher who played for the Toronto Blue Jays and Philadelphia Phillies. He is regarded as one of the greatest pitchers of all time. Roy Halladay, Death by Stunt Maneuvers Roy Halladay, the former MLB standout pitcher, met a tragic end in a plane crash on November 7, 2017. He was piloting his Icon A5 airplane when it went down in the Gulf of Mexico, close to Newport Ritchie, Florida. An investigation by the National Transportation Safety Board found that Halliday had been executing risky maneuvers at low altitude prior to the accident. Carol Lombard was an American film actress who rose to prominence during the golden age of Hollywood. Born Jane Alice Peters in 1908, she was known for her comedic talents and glamorous on-screen presence. In 1999, the American Film Institute ranked Lombard 23rd on its list of the greatest female stars of classic Hollywood cinema. Carol Lombard, death by change of plans. Carol Lombard and her mother were returning from a triumphant war bond tour in Indiana. They had initially planned to travel by train. However, a last minute decision led to Lombard boarding the ill-fated flight on January 16, 1942. She and her mother were on the TWA flight from Las Vegas to Los Angeles when it tragically crashed into Nevada's Potosi Mountain. The crash claimed the lives of all 22 passengers on board. Lombard was only 33 years old. Just wanted to say thanks for watching. Remember to smash that like button, subscribe, and hit the bell notification so you never miss another upload. We know there are tons more we could have included. So if there's someone you'd love to see in part two, drop it in the comments and let us know we're all ears.